This is our ECN 5623 University of Colorado Real-Time Embedded Systems Project. Uh, for this course we built a radio, radar that auto-tracks and a camera that does image detection and centroid detection. Um, we'll each talk about our contributions to the project and then show a little demo. So my portion of the project was to work with the video camera here and the driver over here on the far side of the or, and the, the board here on the far side and work with the driver for it. Um, basically the camera does some image filtering, some edge enhancement, and locates the central of any object in its field of view and then returns those coordinates back to the uh, position uh, routine for the Palolo controllers here for town. And the servo control um, is all serial driven uh, using uh, just regular hobby servos um, and before it before it actually finds an object it scans in kind of a Z pattern uh, moves the radar around till it finds the object or if the camera finds the object the camera can then direct the, um, the servos uh, to move the radar to a particular fixed location uh, that, uh, that location is uh, is then put up on the screen. So for this we also built a radar module which uses two 8x8 eight eight, uh, patch arrays with about 23 dBi of gain. So those are in here with a radome cover just so it doesn't get shocked or messed with. Um, behind that we've got a gun down uh, source and a mixer so we take our two signals mix them together and get a Doppler shift. We filter out the 10.525 gigahertz signal and convert down to baseband, do an op amp circuit that multiplies it by a thousand and then we filter that once again and send that to an audio card which uh, we're interpreting the signals with using VXWorks. The audio card does a DTFT on the uh, the return signal and finds the object speed as well as the return signal strength so you get some Doppler return and you know your speed. Um, all that project works together to locate and track so right now we're in a track function where the camera doesn't see anything so we're just looking for any radar return signal and as soon as the radar or the video camera returns that it's found something the servos tra start tracking with the radar. So if the fan's not moving, we're returning no Doppler, so there's no speed, um, which you saw up above, but now we turned on the fan, and we're getting a return signal with an object speed of about 13 to 15 miles per hour, which is the speed of that little fan, and some RSSI, which is just the return signal depending on when it's measured. Um, total output of the radar is really low power, we're put, outputting about 0.1 milliwatts, so it's nothing to be afraid of, but as you can see, if Ben moves that around, it'll no, track it. That part I understand. Uh, so there must be so the trace gets tracked, yeah. seven by but we can also put that behind, go back in into scan mode, and we'll still be picking up RSSI and some signal on that screen when the radar finds it. Uh, so you may see that every once in a while. And that is our University of Colorado. Oh. So, as you can see, for real time, we're outputting what the CPU is using. And as you can see, we're very well utilizing the CPU. We're us using about 90% of all the CPU time, and uh, we don't have much time to spare. So, if we miss a deadline, the system either crashes or gives you the wrong image position and RSSI location position. And that is our real time embedded systems uh, design and final project at the University of Colorado Boulder.